Well, Ukraine's president today making an impassioned plea to NATO for more military help. President Zelensky says just 1% of NATO's military assets would make a difference. And new claims from Kyiv allege Russian forces are forcibly taking thousands of civilians from Mariupol and shipping them back across the border to Russia. Correspondent Robert Sherman is live for us in Warsaw. Robert, Obviously an alarming allegation, but despite that, there are signs Ukraine's forces are starting to repel Putin's troops. We have seen instances of that, Nicole, especially in the suburbs of Kyiv, where Ukrainian forces have claimed that they've been able to take back certain towns, cities, suburbs. Elsewhere in the country of Ukraine, the fighting remains fierce. One month of war in Ukraine and the conflict showing no signs of easing up. The Russian onslaught taking its toll in the northern city of Chernihiv. The mayor there posting this video on social media showing the damage to the besieged city. Homes destroyed or burning, debris strewn about. He calls it a catastrophe and claims Russian troops are deliberately targeting grocery stores. In another development, the Ukrainian foreign ministry accusing Russia of forcibly relocating more than 400,000 people from Mariupol and other parts of the country, possibly to be held as hostages to pressure Ukraine to give up. The claims could not be independently verified. But in other areas of the country, signs of progress as Ukraine's navy says it sank a large ship near the port of Berdyansk. Fire and thick smoke billowing from the ship that had been used to supply Russian forces with armored vehicles. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky pleading with Western allies for more military help, saying his country needs international aid to keep up with Russia's arsenal. The Ukrainian army has been resisting for a month in unequal conditions. And I have been repeating the same thing for a month now. To save people in our cities, Ukraine needs military assistance without any restrictions. And in a suburb of Kyiv, this image, a man carrying two shopping bags against the backdrop of a burning warehouse hit by a Russian shell. A chilling look at the new normal in Ukraine, as life goes on as much as it can. And patience for many Ukrainians is running thin. One refugee we spoke with said that her message to NATO in the West was she doesn't care how it happens, just end the war. Nicole? All right, Robert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.